taking the flag as a souvenir can't have any street value. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go talk to the uh talk to the guy, but it said that there was a uh a thing on that, so that's why I was checking. Oswald Jacobs. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. Oh man, he's been practicing this. What's going on? I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyway, last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. <laughs> Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Oh, give me the stone face. Do I have anything? Why would... Why would there be Mexicans trying to steal... I mean... We don't know anything yet, so it's hard to say. what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. <laughs> okay. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? <laughs> After I scared him off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. <laughs> that was a load of shit. We all know it. Alright. So what, what could possibly be something that he would have taken? I mean, he might have taken the flag, but why? Let's see what happens when I give him the lie, because I can back out of that. How do you know there were three of them? It was dark. It must be 50 feet from the kitchen to the car. You telling me I'm lying? Um. Yeah, I'm just going to give him the doubt, because I think... Don't ask, you never find out. I definitely feel like he's sketchy. I mean, look at him biting his feet, biting his gums. Can't trust that guy. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. Yeah. I was curious. Yeah. Against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Yeah, I can't trust him. Can't trust a trust a gum biter. Possibly that car. Tell vehicle. me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. Hmm, not biting his face anymore, so I think we're pretty safe to just agree with him. Why? But what would what would he be lying about? We'll see what we'll give him the tester. You were drunk and it was dark. What's with the smoke screen about the car? Well the the people the suspect's car is not about this car. That vehicle that I'm giving you, you better use it. Because we don't know anything about the other car, other than that this guy told us there's another car. So, so I, I think it's, I think he's got to be telling the truth. Oh, but now it's giving me the crazy smug face. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Yeah. Andy I got this guy wrapped around my finger. Candy apple, interesting. Vehicle stripped of parts. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Oh, he's giving in the twitch. Yeah, because they took the, the license plates. Yeah, so we know he's lying. Why did you take the license plate? Me? Well, what I do with license plates? You saying I have them? Wait, what? That didn't quite work out how I expected it to work. Yeah, we know that they were taken, so we know... 
Yeah, I'm gonna give him the license plate. Scratching around in that book won't prove nothing. You should show Shit. me some respect. Man, how's he gonna lead to Thank accusing you him? You can speak to Officer Tabo about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? Oh, Bukowski. Jacob dumped the book he was reading in a hurry when we walked out. You curious what he didn't want us to see? 1947. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R and I. Wait, what? Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. Huh. So this must be the, the notebook of the Argentinian dude? Alright. I think we've run this place dry. Let's find a game well. A game well? Do I have to call anybody? Oh, this is a game well, apparently. The old telephone game well. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. <laughs> what the? Wrong person, Mrs. Madsen. Sorry to disturb you. Are there any messages for me? There's just one message for you, Detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought well, in? We got the car. He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks. So basically, we gotta check out Dewey Brothers, talk to Juan. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. Man, look at we'll me. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. We chatting up for Blue. So where do we gotta go? The locations. So we got Dewey Bros. And Police Station. I'm gonna head to Dewey Bros. I actually can't leave the console. We can waiting. visit the Packard dealership or head back to Central and interview this Valdez character. Your call. Let's check out what the Valdez guy. This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year. One more and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases? You kidding me? This is barely even police work. Yep. Yeah, that's All exactly what I was thinking. In the city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. So there's a lot of cars getting abandoned, so maybe there's some sort of weird... I, I got no clue. I got nothing. <laughs> we have a Juan Francisco Valdez in for questioning. Sure do, Phelps. Your bird's an interview, too. And get this, he's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. Can you beat that? <laughs> Sounds like we don't want to keep this guy waiting. It's this way. I want to make all the time. I mean, you know you've made it if you got that bad. Isn't he a cop who won the medal and is solving all the cases? Solving all the About cases, time. that's for sure. Are you the senior officer I requested? Is he wearing gloves? I'm Detective Phelps, and this is Detective Pukowski. Have you any idea how long oh, I've been waiting are, to yeah. speak with you? I am needed back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. 
All right, friend, let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Baldess, Council General, I insist on my full title. Hmm, this guy's gonna give me a hard time. Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. Damn, this dude's got it made. Oh, he's giving me the, the look around, though. Do we have any registration slip? Do Does anyone remember where the registration, registration slip was from, by chance? Missing Argentinian flag. I'm gonna just prompt him with a lie. See what let's see what he says. You made the arrangements for the car. Call the embassy. I decided the color and model, but was not involved in the transaction. Man. I can't remember what was on the stinking registration slip. Uh, I I like I made a mistake. I don't remember what the Valdez's notebook had a bunch of names in it and for like a meeting. I'm gonna say he's telling the truth, because why would why would the consulate be you think someone from the garage setting that stuff up? It would not surprise me in the least. Shit. The theft of consular vehicle. Consul General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It must have been stolen from the consular garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flawed. Unfortunately, we don't do that here, your worship. <laughs> now he's just grilling me. Oh, but then he gives the shifty thing, so he wasn't telling the truth last time he did that. I think you know who stole the car and why they stole it. I think he does too. How dare you! If I was a younger man, I would demand satisfaction. And what evidence <laughs> do you have that links me to the thief? Oh shit. I need to start taking notes on everything we find. Listing mail liaisons. Like, I feel like he does know. It all seems pretty sketchy. I'm gonna give him the Valdez notebook. Uh, see, we needed to get. Do you? Do you think so? So what do you? What would you say for here then? Should I back out of this the lie accusation and go for something else? Like what? What would you? What do you think's going on? Because I am stumped. You, Senor, remind me of my cousin Jose, who was kicked in the head by a polo pony. We shot the pony. But we probably should have shot poor Jose instead. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was giving me a shifty eye. He just threatened to shoot me and he me he wants to give me a shifty eye. I'm giving the Valdez notebook. And an apology is in order before I will continue. Shit. I fucked this dude up so much. You, Valdez. They're gonna love your of course you tell me doubt afterwards. Jesus. I've been in this job 20 years. <laughs> Freaking guy just threatened to shoot me though. What is that? Well, shit. We did not find anything out from him. With Valdez. Thank God. I'll get rid of him in a couple of hours. Oh. Shit. Where is Bukowski to help me out with that? Shit. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Uh, 
That guy played this shit out of me though. Mr. Valdez moves 